My name is Cal Medill. I have a Model T Brass 1912 Ford. This car is 106 years old. I'm the uh, third owner. It's a Walkerville, Ontario car made in Windsor. It's got the most brass of any Model T, this one, just before the war started. They needed the brass for the shells, so they made it. They took the brass away from the cars. Brand new, it was $650. What's the top speed? 30 miles an hour. We have three pedals. You have low gear, reverse, and brake. And then when you're rolling, you, you let your foot off there, put the throttle back, and put the emergency brake right ahead, and you're in high gear. The oak lasts forever, so these are the original wheels. In about 1926, they, they went to a wire wheel. The frame, of course, is steel. The rest of it is tin and wood. Today it's worth around $30,000. You have to always be tightening things up on it. You have to uh, uh, set the ignition on it. There's uh, coils that run the car. They have to be in, in sync. There's one hook to each cylinder. And the battery in the back here, when I turn the key on, a spark comes to the coil, turn the crank, it sends a spark to each cylinder, and that's what starts the car. Four spark plugs, those are the wires that go to those coils. It's called a Holly carburetor. You fill the grease cups full of grease, you give it an extra turn, the grease is coming out each side there. You put a carbide powder in there with a little water and it makes a gas. And then there's a hose that goes down around through the bottom up to the headlights. Then you open the headlights up and you light your headlight at night. Everyone's saying, where do you put the gas in? I don't see any uh, filler pipe, but it's right here under the seat. This is, a, this is 10 inches deep, and it, uh, it's really good in mileage. I get about 35 miles to the gallon. That's a real car! <laughs> My wife's getting tired of uh, storing the trophies, so I have to move them out to the garage. I have a real thing for a Model T, I guess. Uh, I just uh, enjoy working with them, driving them. They always intrigue me, so uh, I just, uh, I love this model of a car. <laughs> you got me on that one. <laughs>